Hey guys, it's Josh and I know it all and I wanted to come to you and talk to you just for a few minutes kind of about uh, the responses the Dodgers are giving uh, as they're being asked about the cheating scandal. I also want to take a few minutes to, um, I don't know, kind of look at Justin Verlander's response uh, at the BBWAA award ceremony the other day and just want to get into that for a little bit. But guys, before we do, if you take a second, go down and hit the like button uh, down below. Uh, leave a comment on your thoughts on how the Dodgers and others across the league are responding. And you know what? Subscribe to the channel. It does help out and it means a lot to me. So guys, let's jump right into this. The Dodgers are slowly starting to be, um, I don't know, coming to the forefront, answering questions. Uh, it turns out that Major League Baseball, or Rob Manfred, didn't ask all of baseball to uh, not discuss this topic. He asked just the Dodgers to not discuss this topic. Uh, they're not listening at this point now. They're starting to move forward and actually answer questions, and I'm glad they are. I'm glad that they're starting to come out and uh, make statements. You know, you look at, I think, Justin Turner just the other day talked about how he, if a title was taken away from Houston, he didn't want it given to Los Angeles. He didn't feel that'd be right. He thought that'd be an empty championship. Um, I understand that. I'm not going to disagree with him on that. Uh, you want to win it on the field. It does stink to know that the team you played against, you know, was cheating in 2017 and the team you were playing against in 2018 was probably cheating as well. Um, but he, he was right. He doesn't want an empty championship. He wanted to win it on the field. You can't say uh, by default we're the champions. You can't really do that. Fans can do that. That's fine. But players, uh, they, they can't do that. They, they need to have that, that championship celebration, that dog pile to really – um, really solidify it, make it official, make it real to them. So I understand that. Perfect sense, you know, going with it. I'll agree with that. Uh, Clayton Kershaw actually uh, came out and, and talked about it a little bit uh, yesterday or the day before as well. Uh, he was at a, a charity golf event and was asked, and, and he said a statement that I thought was, you know, right in line with what I've been feeling lately is that he was kind of miffed that none of the Astros players had really come out and apologized at this point. Uh, they had tried to apologize. They had beaten around the bush. They had uh, talked about different things, but no one has really come out and apologized. And I'll be honest, this is not a good look uh, for the Astros. I already had very little respect for their front office uh, over the last few years, but this really just hammers it home that they aren't smart enough to just tell their players, hey, go apologize. Just go out and say sorry. And and here's what really gets me. If it's Rob Manfred who's a part of their immunity, they can't go out and apologize for it, then that's stupid on his part as well. Uh, the players should say, screw it, I'm sorry, we messed up. If you do that, we can move forward as fans. We really can. Uh, we won't be happy. We won't really forgive you, but we can move forward. We can move on. But right now, honestly, in my mind, my first thought is, they're going to try and cheat again this year. You know, they're not apologizing because they have no intentions of stopping. That's the way I look at this. If, if you do something wrong and you can't even bring yourself to apologize for it, is it because you you know you're going to try and do it again this year? Uh, now, I really hope that the manager, that they get in uh, for the Astros, just tears them a new one if they try and cheat again. Um, I know there are some managers that, that would. Uh, Ozzie Guillen came out. Uh, at the White Sox Fest and talked about it, and he was blunt. I mean, just I mean, we all know Ozzy Ginn is blunt no matter what, but he was just saying that if that if that stuff if that shit tried to happen under his watch, he ain't letting it happen. He is not letting it happen. So, um, you know, guys are starting to come out. Guys are starting to talk about it. You know, and and Kershaw wants them to apologize. That's what he wants. That's what everybody wants. Just apologize. But instead. Instead, we get crap like like this stuff from Justin Verlander that just drives me nuts. Where he is out here, and let me see if I can find it really quick. I don't see it at the moment. But he, he talks about how we had a technological and uh, like a scouting advantage over other teams. And that, that statement just, it makes me so mad. And the fact that he did it. At the Baseball Writers um, Awards ceremony, you gotta be smarter than that. 
Justin Verlander, you go out for years talking about how there needs to be more punishment for cheaters. Anyone who takes PEDs needs to be punished. Science stealing, you need to be punished. You need to be bigger punishments, bigger stuff like that. And now you're joking about it. You're on in front of the baseball writers and in front of your peers, other players across the league, and you're joking about it. And I don't find it funny. And I don't think other players in the league find it funny. Uh, I know like Freddie Freeman, he does not find it funny with the Braves. You know, he thinks it might have cost one of his friends his career, uh, that he may have lost his position in Major League Baseball because of the Astros, because of what they did. And so he is not happy. And I understand that. I completely understand that. It makes sense. And the Astros have got to get out in front of this. And they won't. I'm telling you right now, they will not. Spring training will come around and they will all read off a piece of paper saying, we, the Houston Astros, uh, were found to do something we should not have done. And Rob Manfred punished our uh, organization. We wish we would not have been punished. The end. And they're not even going to apologize. That's what it's going to be like. That's exactly what it's going to be like. They're not going to apologize. They're going to read off a piece of paper that's going to beat around the bush. And that makes me mad. And I, I know that the Dodgers are being very calm and collected and how they answer. But I can't imagine how they feel behind the scenes. I mean, look at like, like Clevenger and Bauer and how these guys are responding. I mean, there were other guys too that they're not holding back. They're cutting loose and they're mad. And I really think that when the season starts, you know, the Astros are going to have troubles this year. Uh, not because they're not cheating anymore, but I think the pressure they're going to feel is unlike any they felt before because it's now not going to be just fans booing them because they're the away team. It's going to be fans who feel like they have zero limitations in what they can say or do to hurt the Astros. And those guys are going to have remarks said to them beyond what they've heard before. And they've probably heard it all, but it's going to be worse this year. Their family is going to hear it. You know, Justin Verlander, be careful everywhere you go. If your wife is there, she's going to hear it nonstop. She's going to be yelled at, screamed at, cursed at, called names left and right. And that might even be at your home ballpark. That might be in Houston you hear that stuff. Uh, so this year's going to be different for the Astros. They're going to be uh, in a whole different game this year. And that's why I think looking at them, I'm not picking them to win the West. I think the pressure and the circumstances they're in, it's going to weigh on them. It's going to weigh on them. It's going to wear them down. And by the end of the season, I don't think they're going to be in first place. And I don't necessarily think they're going to be really in the running for first place. They might still get a wild card. Um, but it's going to be a long road, a tough road. And every time one of them strikes out or every time one of them uh, pops up or, or doesn't hit a home run, they're going to hear it from every fan in the crowd, even at home, especially on the road. And, you know, like uh, the Astros play in Anaheim. And you know who's going to be there? Hundreds of Dodger fans. I would not be surprised if that stadium is half red and half blue and they're all cheering the exact same things to destroy the Astros. Because Anaheim and, and L.A. fans, not necessarily, you know, connected and loving of each other, but they will be when Houston comes to town. It's going to be it's going to be loud. I almost want to watch that game just to see what it's like, because uh, that's going to set a tone for the entire season. So, you know, the Dodgers, you know, those players, they're responding politically correct. They really are. They're being um, very was, was restrained and at some point they're not going to be restrained at some point they're going to be someone's going to just cut them loose and you're going to hear it and you're going to hear it very loud so guys that's the th kind of my response to how the Dodgers have been doing stuff what Justin Verlander said which it's still one of the dumbest things I've ever heard um, I had a lot of respect really loved Verlander um, but once again Verlander and Bregman, Altuve, George Springer, all guys that you know, I enjoyed watching. No, I'm done with them. Done with them all. Um, I understand why Garrett Cole wanted out so bad. Uh, I think he saw this coming, didn't like being a part of the team, and the second that final out was out, was done, 
he tossed the Houston Astros hat aside and he is no longer an employee of the Astros. And uh, I think, I think there's more to come. I think there's more to come. You know, that's what I have to think. So guys, once again, this is Josh and I, you know, it all, those are my thoughts, my response. And I hope you guys, you know, agree. And if you don't, that's fine. Leave a comment down below talking about why you feel differently. Have a nice day, guys.